right, so I'm gonna be working on, as usual, a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And um, I'm gonna be working with uh, 10 colors. And the majority of them are Arteza colors. And I am using this new medium. I'm gonna give it a, a go again. I love how velvety smooth it is. Um, so this is Arteza's Prussian Green. I have Arteza's Pearl Turquoise, Pearl Pistachio, Pearl Light Green. I also have their Pearl Brown. And I have their Metallics, let me see here. Um, metallic gold. Uh, let me see if I have here it is. So I'm using um, the metallic gold and I'm using the pearl deep brown. So I never use brown in my pores, but um, I'm intrigued by the pearl portion of this and we'll see how it works out. I'm also using DIY Iridescent Malibu, my usual white mix, I have Treasure Gold Series Aquamarine, and their Blue Quartz. So what I did was, these are seven ounce cups, so I'm, I'm assuming that this is about the four ounce line. I didn't measure, I just poured the medium in there, and I poured a little bit of the paint in until I liked the outcome, uh, the color wise and consistency. So we are going to do, um, I'm thinking a straight pour. I'm not quite sure how I wanna work it, but I'm going to uh, give it a go now. My white is Artist Loft Flow White and it is about three parts medium to, I don't know, one part paint. And then I put a little bit of satin enamel in there, so, because that's my usual. I'm just layering the gold and the brown. I'm gonna come in now with the Prussian green and I love their Prussian green. They have such beautiful colors. Their Prussian blue, Prussian green, their Payne's gray. You, it's a winning situation all around. So you won't go wrong with any of those colors. All right, so I'm gonna go right in with this. I'm actually going to add some Malibu now. There is no rhyme or reason. I just want to make sure that the colors stand out from each other. Um, and do that. So you want some contrast. Come in with the green. And then let's do this. It has a color, I haven't used that one yet. Aquamarine, we're gonna come in with the brown. Now, the gold, and these are layering beautifully. with a little bit of gold. Mina used the Pearl Pistachio recently in a couple of her pores. And one thing that she's mentioned to me is it acts like a white. So I'm sort of interested in seeing how this all plays out because I'm not using a whole lot of white. And 
Usually I do more white layers in between and I have not. As well as gold and I'm not using the 24k gold in this pour at all. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. I'm sort of nervous. <laughs> So when I'm done, there will be about 20 ounces in this cup. This is a 20, no, well, it's 18 ounces, but I'm adding more than the 18 ounce line. So we are gonna put that to the side and move the colors over here a bit, keeping my white present because, well, I'm gonna need it. All right, we'll, we'll do a little brown on the top. So I have plenty of colors left over for um, another cup if I need one. And I'm going to put on my gloves so that I don't make a mess of myself. We do that oh so often. All right. And some paper towel for back. All right, we're ready. We'll do the white puddle. There we go. And all of these have been mixed with the new medium. And for those that are curious on when that will be available, the creators that I'm testing this for have told me that I can give you all a mid to late August availability. But I will let you know as soon as I know. All right, so here we go. It was a little messy at the end there. And this medium, I, I love it. It is so smooth and it doesn't have to be strained, which makes me very happy. torch and let's see how this does because I Come down this side, come back to the middle.
Now I'm told that this mix also mixes very well with um, mica pigments and all of that. So that for those that use them and I have some that I want to give a try soon. Um, yeah, they're supposed to mix very well with them. <clears throat> Unlike Floetrol, Floetrol, I guess, from what I've seen, does not mix well with pigments. They dull them. So, all right. Just gonna get this over here. This is just gonna help my puddle move. All right, maybe one more torch. I have some cells in here, which is nice. Um, I haven't seen much of reaction with the deco art gold or anything, but I haven't really given it much of a go. I'm gonna come down this way. And come back up right to the center and back this way Come all the way down to this corner. And bring that right back to the middle. I think I want to go off this side. God, it, it just moves so beautifully. I do have some cells in here and down along the blue ridge. Now, I don't like brown, so I don't like that center at all. And I'm just going to move it a little bit. But I figured I'd try the brown and a lot of people swear by it and I just don't like brown altogether. So I suppose I should just stick with what I like going forward. <laughs> I just can't make brown work and that is just me. I was going to need more um, air bubble popping with the torch, but that is not the case. This is super pretty in here, but I don't like it, so I'm glad I have the leftover paints to pour over it. Uh, so I will be, we'll do a small cup. I have this little cup right here. So we're going to take the brown out of the equation altogether. And I'm going to 
gonna go with some white. And do some gold. And I think what I want to try, which, because I love my, my deco art gold, but I actually wanna try the gold straight up out of the bottle, just a little smidge of it. I'm just gonna put the cap back on. No, I'll leave it off. You never know. I might wanna add another later. Um, and we're just gonna keep layering cup colors. come in with the pistachio. I want to do another little dollop of gold. Come in with the aquamarine do all of it. The light green, the pearl turquoise, Prussian green, Arteza's gold, and that one is done. Maybe some brown now. Didn't want to use brown, but why not? I've been told it adds depth, so I'm just trying to go outside of my comfort zone. And a little more of the deco art. Use up the rest of the aqua marine. Let's do some Malibu. We'll put the rest of the Malibu on there and maybe a little bit of white and we'll call it a day. All right. We'll do, yeah, we'll do the same thing. this point it really doesn't matter but really like in here 
here. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. I go right over there. I really, really like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this piece. like there might be something right here. All right. Okay, so um, we're going to bring you down in just a moment. Okay. Now, I've been looking at this for a while and it's super pretty, but it's almost like I want something to come out of this. And there's some beautiful feathering in here and I'm tempted to do some high flow work on it. I mean, you never know how it's gonna turn out. So, I'm going to do a drop there, drop there, drop there, and drop there, and I guess right there too. So, I'm going to use my flexible straw, which is completely paint covered except for where I blow into. Um, and just blow out. This I found, my kids had a crazy straw set and I 
they weren't using it anymore or even this piece so I took it out of the bag and kept it. Don't want to do too much at a time. See a flower stem coming up here so I have these flowers here and then I'm gonna have a leaf this looks like a leaf in here <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is create a little bud or two or maybe I'll make the bud go this way
are done. There we go. Bring it up so that the leaf is just over it a little bit. Okay, so I think that's it, and we're gonna bring you guys in so you can take a look. All right, so here we are, and this is what I was seeing, um, this here being the stem and the gold flowers and the little bud, and the bud's actually doing a little bit of fractalization, which I think is really cool, if that's even a word. <laughs> but it definitely needed something else, and I'm loving all of this detail. I really, really enjoy this new medium and I'm super excited for it to be hitting uh, the market soon. Um, all of this makes me think of hosta. Um, I know that's not a hosta flower, but that's what it reminds me of. And all of it is metallic in here. And this is, this is what's going to be so awesome when it dries. Um, the metallics that are going to come out of it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and being so patient. Please don't be mad at me for changing the painting. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys have a great night. Bye now.